we are uh, seeing the female pelvis. The, this is Mrs. Shaheen, age 25 years, is married, has uh, not conceived yet, uh, is married for two years. So this is the this is the right ovary in transfer section. This is the left ovary in transfer section, and you know that this is the urinary bladder. Concentrate on the ovaries. This is the left. This is the right, and you can see follicles. This is the follicle. This is the follicle, and you can see a follicle, the dominant follicle in the. Right ovary, sorry, in the left ovary. This is the left ovary, and this, this, this is the follicle, measuring 9.4 millimeters. So both the ovaries uh, are normal in size, shape, diameter, and uh, volume, as well as follicular activity is seen in both with dominant follicle in the left. So the left ovary will be the dom will be called the dominant ovary in the cycle. This is the transfer section through a properly filled, adequately filled urinary bladder of a 25 years old married female, not conceived and uh, has been sent to rule out any pathology. So at least the ovaries are normal, the follicular activity is present. There is no focal lien of mass related to the at the next of the ovaries and there is no fluid seen as well in this region. But now let's go to the now I'm moving the probe in transfer section to get the uterus. This is the uterus in, in longitudinal section. Now the bladder is uh, slightly overfilled. And the endometrial canal can be seen as central. and clear. The uterus is eight point seven centimeters Six. in length and two point seven centimeter in a zero posterior diameter. Normal in dimension, however, you, there is uh, a solid mass seen extending from the upper segment of the posterior wall of the uterus, this one. This is the uterus. Now this is the anterior wall, anterior myometrium. This is the endometrial canal that measures 7.1 millimeters. is clear. This is the posterior wall of the uterus. And from the posterior wall, you can see that this is the mass extending <coughs> imperial laterally from the posterior wall of the uterus. It is, uh, and the mass, solid, this solid mass is in fact a fibroid that gives an, the appearance is in front of you. There are numerous calcifications seen within this uh, solid ecogenic mass. This is the Uh, 
Now we are getting it uh, in total quite easily because the bladder is relatively uh, uh, overfed. Now this is the, you can see there are multiple, numerous, this is the pipeline. And all these ecogenic areas, these multiple, numerous, these are all calcifications within this uh, solid mass. This, this black area is the sharp shadowing from these ecogenic areas, the calcification, which is obscuring the view posterior to, the, posterior to them. Similarly, they are marginal, they are internal calcification, highly there, and they are uh, significantly calcified as the shadow explains them. And this uh, fibroid mayors approximately this is the <laughs> now this is the true picture of the fibroid Note the dimensions, solid mass with numerous internal and marginal calcification, measuring 9 into almost 7.5 centimeters. Now these are the dimensions and uh, these uh, are the calcification. This is the outer wall, this is the central region and you can see there is no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. So this is the mass which is a fibroid that extends from the posterior wall of the uterus near the fundal region and extends posterior laterally. Coming back to the uterus, now you see that with these the pain, that the otherwise the uterus is normal, the cervix is okay. There is no focalian, this is the cervical region, and there is no focalian otherwise related to the uh, anterior segment or the cervix of the uterus. Now this is the mass that is uh, extending posterior laterally from the, now you see that this is, this is the mass extending posterior laterally from the obis miller and this is the anterior wall of the uterus the sphere wall of the uterus, endometrial canal, no relation with the endometrial canal, spares the endometrial canal by 19 millimeters. So this is a case study of uh, uterine fibroid <coughs> from, want to see if there is any mass effect on the kidney. Yeah. There is. You can see that uh, the calluses are dilated. The proximal ureter is not dilated though. And this is the right kidney. What about the left kidney? Left kidney also shows uh, the dilation of all the calluses 
with no dilation of the proximal ureter. Now these findings are more uh, in favor of uh, overfilled because of overfilled urinary bladder rather than mass effect from the fibroid. As you can see that this is the proximal ureter, not dilated, this is the pelvis, calysis, the left kidney. So no mass effect on the uh, kidneys, rather the minimal height of necrosis seen in both kidneys is because of overfilled urinary bladder. Thank you.